Hey traders, Scott Barkley with Proact Traders. So uh, some of my traders in my live class were struggling with uh, price action. So I asked ChatGPT to give me the, um, what are the main struggles traders have with learning it? Brought back quite a few information. So enough that I thought maybe I ought to do a whole video presentation on this. So this is gonna be a series of short videos to help you through the process of learning what price action is, how to use it, how to solve the problem in your own case, and uh, how to become a better trader. So let's get right into the video. All right, this is lesson two on our uh, series of struggles with learning price action. Level two deals with identifying key levels. So this comes from ChatGPT. Determining support and resistance levels is crucial, but can be difficult, especially in volatile markets. New traders may struggle with consistently identifying these levels. So it's true. Bankers, big boys, only use key levels in their trading. They do not use indicators. They're not on a hachi hichi hachi hachi makamuko thing. None of that works. No, they don't do that. So what are they? Well, it depends on the type of trader they are. Position traders are using the weekly and daily chart levels. Swing traders are using the daily and 240 minute chart levels. Intraday traders are using the 240 and 60 minute chart levels. Now we trade with the intraday traders and they use structure from the 240 minute and they enter and exit on the 60 minute chart, never below that. So we use these same levels, but enter and exit on a 10 minute chart. And by the way, never a five minute or a 15. The five gives too many false positives. The 15 is too late. So structure is shown on the 240 minute chart and the 240 minute determines the overall direction of the agenda. If you don't know what the agenda is, go review lesson one. If the 60 minute chart is in harmony with the 240, then you're well on your way to finding a possible opportunity. So I'm up here on a 240 minute chart, as you can see here, and um, not quite big enough. Okay, so I'm on a, six, a 240 minute chart here, as you can see, and you can see the channel is right there, all right? So uh, to believe this channel, you must prove the heart line. If you don't know the heart line, there are two parts to it, every trend or channel, that's the lower part and the upper part, all right? They may never get up to the upper part, but there still exist, so you gotta be prepared, all right? So you gotta prove that they know where the heart line is, all right? So there it is, all right? So now I go down to the 60 minute chart, as you can see here, and once direction and the structure are known, you can now find levels in that direction. In other words, you can't find their levels until you know which direction to go look for the levels, all right? So we never go below a 60 until we're ready to take an entry, all right? So I'm back here on the 240 minute chart. Now, these levels that I've got over here in this area right here, they came from the previous level uh, area in the same price section. So these are Fib retracement levels. You click on the swing low and the swing high, and you'll get these levels. And if, you, if they prove that they're using them, prove that they know where they are, then they will use them up here on this move. All right, so that's very easy to find. All right, now remember, that's a 240 minute chart. All right, now I'm come down to a 60 minute chart, all right? So these Fib retracement levels down here came from what we just did on that last chart, all right? So we, we trade up to the level, we trade up to the level, we trade up to the level, trade up to the level. Now, once you have identified the major pullback, all right, we use the Fib extension tool to find the new targets. Swing low, swing high, swing low, and now you have the 618, and the 1000, and of course you have one above the charts also. All right, so you can see what the market did. In both those cases, they ran those, those areas. That's because these FIB levels are contested areas, but the space between them is uncontested. That is where the trade hides, all right? So MACD is your key. If you're above the zero line, you're a potential buyer. If you're below, you're a potential seller. Obviously, direction is important to know here. So you can see I've got down here, the, that white line shows you the zero line of the MACD, all right? So as you can see, every major move here, 
The MACD told you, yep, you're going up. Over here, a little small one, but the MACD said, yep, you're going up. Another little small one, you're going up. And the last little pretty good size one there, and what did it tell you? See, you're in harmony. The 240 is up, the 60 is up, the targets are to the upside. MACD says you're a buyer because you're above the zero line break. All right. So there are many targets every day, heart lines, ATR targets, fib extensions, pattern targets, pullback targets, etc., etc., etc. The good news is that as you move to the targets, the next target is all you care about. And we never take a trade unless we have 55 plus pips to the ATR target for today. So what is the solution? The serious trader will practice finding these levels in the past, not trade live, do them in the past so they can get good at projecting them into the future. How many do I do? Surprise, surprise, 300 of them. So here's a trader's actual work and what they found. And you can see here that he has shown you where the pullbacks went to. All right. This is uh, his exercise on Fibonacci retracements. All right. However, no matter where it pulled back, 91% of them went to the 1.618 Fib extension. All right. So armed with the statistical validity of their study, they know that when they have the statistical value of what they're looking at, they can make the right judgment call on the trade they're hoping to execute. Do I have enough room to the target? The chart says is viable today. And that's why the ATR is so important. The big boys who move the market trade price action. To trade with them instead of against them, you must learn price action. The big boys find these targets and then that becomes part of the agenda for the move. So key number two is to practice finding the big boys levels in the past so that you can trade with them. More lessons to follow. Make sure you, uh, you know, like and subscribe to us because then you'll get notified when the next lesson goes up.